Hi, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time seeing my hands, hi, I'm Erin of Playing Life with Erin, and I'm so happy you decided to check out this video. Thank you for being here. And if you're returning, hey, hey, how has your week been? Okay, guys, I've been talking about this a lot. So if you've been on the channel for a little bit now, you've been hearing me say that I am going to be doing like some sticker organization, like a revamp. So this is my original system. They are um, clear vinyl um, six ring binders. And I have all these inserts. Everything's linked in my Amazon shop. I believe it's under sticker organization. Dropping things over here. I like these. I really do. My problem with this is the way that I'm storing my stickers right now. I'm storing them in my cart because I'm in the middle of like an overhaul of my crafting space, which I know I keep saying it, but stay tuned because it's definitely going to be happening next week. I have to get a couple of more things for my space and then the video will go up. It's definitely been filmed over time because I am, I'm trying to be more intentional. Um, I'm not going to go as far as to say I'm being a minimal, minimalist. Let's try that word again. Um, but I am trying to declutter because I'm finding that I have a lot of stuff, not just in my crafting space, but in my entire house, and it's causing a lot of unneeded stress. So little by little, I've been decluttering spaces every day, um, but my craft space is taking a little bit more because if you're a crafter, which I'm sure, I'm sure you are, if you're here, if you're a planner, you're a crafter, you know the struggle is real. It's like, do I throw this vinyl away? It's a little tiny piece. What if I need something small that I need to craft? So you get it. But the way that I am going to be storing my sticker books now are in the top of my cart. So I can just kind of reach for them off to my left side. I'm trying to, again, make things more organized and just um, better for me. Like when I'm sitting here planning so I don't have to like get up or move, that kind of thing. So with these, this snap, when I store them this way, and I probably could store them this way, but I don't like the way this looks. Um, when I store them this way, the snaps kind of get stuck with each other. So that's why when I started, it was like this. This is a simple fix. But I found these. And I am really liking these. These are a harder plastic cover. Um, I like that there's a binder that's flat. Um, and these, like, line up. And even this way, if I had them on a bookshelf, would be okay. But I also took it a step further. <laughs> And I decided to get myself a little mini label maker. Um, I don't know if Joe's going to be happy with me or not happy with me because now I can label everything. <laughs> but he always complains he doesn't know where anything is because I'm constantly like reorganizing and moving things. I'm just always trying to find the best system for me, mostly, um, and my family. But I got this nice little um, label maker. It was very affordable um, on Amazon. I will also link this in my shop underneath the sticker organization Um I guess, folder or whatever. Um, but they print out, and I printed out before I decided to film because I can't access my phone. I put the app in my phone and not in my iPad, and I'm not super techno technological. So it just hooked up to my phone. Um, the app, I just downloaded it from the app store, and it's in my phone now. So I printed out all of these little mini labels, and I think... Um, the categories I'm going to use for my stickers, just for me and my brain, I think, and it could change. Um, I, I wrote in functional stickers, but then I'm like, I know these are stickers, so I don't really need to write that in there. So I decided to go with seasonal, Hobonichi kits, um, functional, and then go to everyday stickers. So, and then these will nicely go right on the binder and then everything will be nicely organized so I can see them, everything at first glance. Um, so right now in here, the way that I organize everything, sorry, we're a hot mess right now because we're in the process of going through everything. I labeled these in here and I used Avery labels um, to mark the sections. So <laughs> I kind of started off with one and then I got these come in sets of two. These also come in sets of two. So I did get two sets of two of this and I have these and then I have, um, or I had, I should say, cause I kind of already migrated some of my stuff, my kits and the second one. So I put them all in here and all I did was just take them off of the, the binder for this one and I put them in here and it was easy. Um, there is a way to, if I can figure it out, um, you can, there's an elastic band that comes with it. So you've got this and then it loops in somewhere. So I'm not sure, I think I did it backwards. So it really needs to go this way and this band will loop in. So when we do the next one, we'll do it correctly and then I'll just go back and fix this. But 
as far as I can tell, this just kind of goes in here, which is something that I really like too. I don't know, right now I'm not using these. So the verdict will have to wait on whether or not I like um, using this band. I have, I have a feeling that it might cause a problem when I'm stacking them, but there's a little notch here and then you have this elastic band so it can kind of keep everything together. I don't think I necessarily need it. See how it kind of like squeezed it? I don't think I like that part of it, but I wanted to mention it in case you are someone that wants something like that. Um, let's see if I can get this back out again. It's really easy. It's just a tab that comes in and out or a metal like clip or a hook. Let's see if I can get this one out. There we go. I like it like this. To be quite honest, I like how it's, it doesn't, I'm not going to be storing it in a position where it could pop open. So, I mean, depending on how you're going to be storing your stickers, you might want to be using this. Thought it was worth mentioning, but we're not going to be using it. Um, okay. So this one right now is my, all of my kits for my Hobonichi. So I have my Hobonichi cousin and my Hobonichi weeks in here and I have monthly kits and then I have weekly kits that I use. So that is how I have marked them. I've used Avery tabs. Those are also linked in my Amazon shop. I really like these tabs a lot because they come right off and they don't leave a residue. And then if so, if you put it in the wrong spot or if you're deciding like, I don't want this section here, I want it in the back, you could just take this off and then move everything around, whatever is the easiest way. But I really like how these tabs have been working out. So we're definitely gonna be keeping those um, I don't think I have any more to, I'm going to be creating a couple of more um, binders, I think, or just kind of separating them because I do have a lot in here, um, but I'm not sure if I have any more tabs. So we'll have to look on that. We'll have to check on that, but I'm going to use what I have for right now. So this one is all set. This one, like I said, is all of my Hobonichi weeks and cousin kits. I have my monthly kits back here. And then I do have some others. I have mostly Coast Coffee Monster Co. If you've been on the channel for a little bit, I absolutely adore the Coffee Monster Co. Um, I don't care how old I am. Um, I enjoy this. This is my planner piece. This is my happy place to each their own. I just wanted to say that because I did, <laughs> I did get a uh, a somewhat of a comment um, in one of my previous videos. I don't know which one it was, but I just wanted to address the fact that, um, yes, I am an adult. Yes, I find this um, fun and relaxing and I love it. Let me know down in the comments if you are also an adult that finds this fun and loves it and it's your, you know, safe place, your happy place, all the things. Um, so I had a comment where somebody asked me, how on earth can an adult use this? They used them when they were 10. Here's something I learned when I was 10. My grandmother once told me that if you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. So hopefully that is a lesson that might be learned today. <laughs> but here we are. So the moral of that is if something makes you happy, don't let anybody tell you anything different because you live this life for you and you only. So there is that rant ended. Okay. So this is the Hobonichi kits that I have. Like I said, I have mostly the Coffee Monster Co. I'm obsessed. I use their stickers primarily in my Hobonichi Cousin. Um, I do use them in the weeks, but it has definitely been the theme of my Hobonichi Cousin this year and maybe a spoiler alert, but I think I'm going to be using them going into 2024 because I absolutely love it. So we're going to take this sticker that says Hobonichi kits on it and I am going to try to center this as best as I can on to this binder. Perfect. So whether I am standing it up on my bookshelf this way, or if I have it laying down on my cart, I will be able to see what is in this binder when I reach for it. Before I was just kind of using the cover to let me know which one it was, um, but this I think is gonna work way better. And like I said, I can label pretty much everything now with this thing. Okay, so this one is done. Sorry, we did this one kind of off camera, but that's okay. So I'm going to put this one off to the side. Now, here's where the fun part comes in. So I'm not going to take these all out. I love these, um, I guess, sleeves you would call them. So these are all five by sevens. This one is a, a four pocket, I guess you would say. So you have this pocket on the top. There is a separate section back here for another pocket. And then there are two more down here. So there's four pockets. Um, I do also have... 
And this is how I store the um, the kits. I have just the plain five by sevens. So here's what we're gonna do. I've already started one here. So this one is my seasonal. That's what I've deemed this one. Now, what did I do? I put kits in here, but Erin, you have a separate binder for kits. I do. However, I don't have a lot of kits for the seasons. Like I have a couple of kits here and there, and then we're just gonna get creative with it. Sorry about the glare, guys. That's also another reason why I like this. It's frosted, so there's not so much of a glare. But this, there's gonna be glare on this video, and I apologize, I'll try to kinda, so we're here. Um, so the way I'm gonna use this is I'm going to put my seasonal kits in with my seasonal stickers. So right now I have some fall, and then I have Halloween, and I'm actually going to, check because I believe I have other ones in here and I just want to make sure I think I have Christmas in here also but I'm not sure I know I have some in here for my weeks I just have to find them I kind of yep all right so I have Christmas I kind of put them off to the back so I'm gonna pull up the Christmas ones and then I have a mini kit for the cozy Halloween to go with that one uh, I have the Hobonichi version so excited. Oh, and then I have another one. This one is baking. These are for the Hobonichi weeks also. And then let's see, because I think I have some full kits, but I'm not sure. I can't remember. And I might've already pulled them out and put them in there. But I thought I had, probably should have checked on this before I came on here, but I was pretty convinced that I had them. So now I have to add to my list. I'm glad I didn't put my order in yet. Let's see, let's keep checking. I don't think I do. Birthday. Okay, so now I know what I also have to add to my order. I need some Christmas. I need, um, I don't know if there's any other fall ones, but like I said, I've got a lot of different doodle stickers and we're gonna make it pumpkin spice and everything nice for fall. But we have I'm going to actually put this in here. Hocus Pocus, guys. My kids finally watched the first original Hocus Pocus last year because of Hocus Pocus 2. They loved Hocus Pocus 2, so we watched um, the original. And my kids just the other day were like, Mommy, we have to watch Hocus Pocus. And I'm like, yes, we do. <laughs> so I'm really excited. <laughs> if you're a Hocus Pocus fan, raise your hand. Let me know down in the comments. And if you've watched it with your kids, please tell me I'm not the only one that's just like... Oh my gosh, I'm so excited right now. Okay, I'm checking to see if I have my seasonal ones in here, and I do not. Okay, so we've got fall and Halloween, or fall, we'll just say it's all fall. Oh, I've got these two, that's right, I knew I had something. So I have these two, this was part of a snail mail, I think. So I saved them because I really wanted to use them in the month of October. So I'm going to be putting these in here also. And I'm really excited to kind of be streamlining things. So I don't have to keep looking through um, all of my books. Like I have a lot of spring things. I'm going to pull those out right now, actually. So these are all my spring planning stickers. So I'm going to kind of put those off to the side for a second. Um, and then what we'll do is I will like reorganize the blanks that I have as I'm pulling things out. But for the most part, these are gonna stay pretty organized. Um, I will be pulling some things out. I do have this smaller album here that I just picked up from, I believe it was a pre-order or a birthday sale. I can't remember now. Um, but I picked this up and I really like this for my everyday stickers. I just kind of stuck like a bunch of orders in here that were just lying around, but I'm gonna have this be my everyday sticker. So it's small enough, it's like a little bit bigger than an A6 size, but it's small enough where I can just like pop it in my planner bag if I'm going out. And then these are mostly the icons and the emojis that I use. So we're gonna go through this too. And I'm gonna try to keep the video like under an hour, but um, it'll be a long one. So grab your coffee, pull up your chair, let's do this. Um, all right, so we've got some spring, and then I have these s'more ones. So I think s'mores is definitely fall time around here. And we have, I had barbecue ones that I just pulled out. Those are summer ones, although I don't think I have many summer things left because we just came out of summer. So I pretty much used what I had. Now let's see. 
I'm going to, I know I have, I have a section in here that I put all of my Christmas stickers together because I was trying to make some space. Let's see if I can find those. We've got some spring critters, so that's gonna go in the spring section, so we'll put that there. And let's see, what else do we have? More spring critters, these are the ones that are working. <laughs> so we'll put those in there, and we have spring working emojis. So we'll put that in there. I obviously, I did not, I don't think we really had spring. We kinda like went right into summer. So here we are. All right, let's see what else is spring-like in here. So we've got this little sampler. I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna put it in the spring pile for now, but I might have something else that I want, or somewhere else I should say that I wanna put that. And we have some, oh, that's winter, so we'll keep this aside. These are summer doodles and they're day covers. And let's see, what else do we have? We've got some functional things in here. Let's see, this one's winter, so we've got that there. And I'm getting closer, I think, to my, yes, there's some. We've got some icy doodles, icy land doodles, is that what they're called? Yes, large icy wonderland, there we go, we'll put that in there. I have large ocean doodles. So here's the thing, I'm kind of torn. I love these doodles and I might, I don't know if I want to section these off I'm gonna take this one back because I don't think I wanna section the doodles off into season um, because I wanna be able to see them all and if I wanna create something, I can. Okay, here's some more. These are Easter, there's not much left in those, so we're gonna put that with the spring. And then here's my big, all my winter and Christmas and all the things. So this is going to be a section and we'll put it with these day covers. And let's see, I think that's all for my seasonal things. So, now I've got spring, summer, and like I know fall and Christmas are the end of the year, but we're coming into fall and Christmas. So what I'm gonna do, or, or winter I should say. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right into the winter and I'm gonna put in my winter stuff and then it's all it comes right apart so I can just move it around if I need to so I'm going to put winter here since we're going to be going into winter and then once and then we'll go spring and summer um and then if I feel like it's not working for me as we kind of creep into this the changing seasons um I could just reverse it like I can put spring and summer in the front and then I can put winter and fall in the back so we'll slip these in I'm so I'm so excited for fall. If you guys have been around, you guys know that we went from like nice, cool, crisp, beautiful, like, I mean, I, I don't know, beautiful fall days, but it was in August, but it kind of got me in the mood for like pumpkin spice and everything nice, you know? And then all of a sudden, the first two weeks of September was a humid, gross mess. So today is actually pretty cool. Um, it's definitely a nice day. Let's see, Christmas. I'm gonna put this and this next to each other. And then I think I might add, this is Christmas, Christmas. I might put this in here, Christmas sampler. Let's put it with the movie night one. We'll pop that behind here. Okay, so what was I saying? Oh yeah, so it got really, really hot. And then we finally had some, some, we had some break in the humidity, which was nice. Um, and today actually was the first time I had like sweatpants on and sneakers and a sweatshirt. I was sitting outside talking to my neighbor today as, um, after the girls got on the bus and I was freezing. I have to say it was cold. It's, I think it's only like 67 degrees, but there's no humidity and it's windy. It's a little bit windy up here, guys, because um, Hurricane Lee is like passing us by, I guess. So there's that. <laughs> Thankfully, I don't think it's going to make, um, it's going to cause any trouble here. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on about Maine. So if you're in Maine, I don't know. Um, I haven't really paid too much attention to the news. So if you're in Maine, let me know what's to be expected up there and of uh, of course, I wish you all safety and I hope it goes fast. I hope there's like, you know, it doesn't hit land or whatever. Um, Cause we know what it's like to have hurricanes around here. 
Um, but luckily, it doesn't seem like it's going to be hitting us. We're going to have some high surfs, um, but I don't surf, so <laughs> I do. I, I do live near the water, but not close enough where it should cause any problems. Hopefully, um, it just seems like we're going to have a lot of wind. I can't. I can't establish whether or not we're going to have. Uh, rain. I said it this morning when I was sitting out with my neighbor and she said, no, we were getting rain. So I'm not sure now. I don't know. All right. So I have these and then I'm pretty certain I have some in here that I just kind of stuck in here. Yep. I have this hottest day ever heat wave, which I don't know. Look guys, I didn't use that many. And it usually like last summer was pretty darn hot. Last summer we had to like not turn on our water. Like every other day, like if you had an odd house or an, uh, an even house that dictated when you were going to put your water on to like water your flowers and whatnot. Um, so that was last summer. And this summer has been rain and rain and rain and more rain. So it was the complete opposite of last year. Um, and I didn't think that I was going to, I bought these because last year was hot every day. Like we were like in a super heat wave last year. So I bought these. I'm like, oh, I'm definitely going to use these. I didn't. I used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it was eight really, really hot days. I think we hit 90 once. Um, and I believe that was just last week. And I don't even know for certain if we actually did hit the hundred degree, I mean the 90 degree mark. I know it was, it was hot. Um, there was like half day of school because of the heat and all that good stuff. So I definitely used them then. And then I think I used one the other day when I was talking, I was writing in my journal. It was just, it was rainy, but it was so humid. It was gross. And I love the heat. I really do. Um, but not in September. Sometimes it's been really hot and humid. I remember when I was pregnant with Weston, it was hot and humid um, in October. And I was, it was torture. Okay. This is looking pretty good. I like how this looks. I've got some fall, all the fall um, emojis, decorative pieces, and then we go right into winter, Christmas, and that kind of stuff. And what I really enjoy about this binder is that if I get some, when I get my Christmas, not if, when, when I get my Christmas kits and my winter kits, I can put them right in here and just add in the five by seven page. And there's definitely room to grow in these sticker organizations. So let's see, this one's seasonal. So we're going to grab my seasonal sticker. And this was actually really easy. Like, again, I am I am terrible with technology. I really am. If I can't just hit a button and turn something on and it work, we have problems. And I have to take deep breaths. So I really liked this. Um, I'm not sure if there's better. I just, I found something that was fairly inexpensive. I didn't want to spend too much money. Um, I can't remember how much this was, but I want to say it was 30 or under, which I felt was reasonable for the amount of um, usage I probably will be getting out of this. So there are different fonts when you open up the app. And I, I went with this one. I thought it was kind of pretty or just different. Okay, so we're going to add this in and I need the other one because I don't want to eyeball it. I mean, I am eyeballing it, but I want to try to make sure. Here's the thing. Let's see. I was going to grab my tweezers, but I don't think I need them. I just want to have it so it's somewhat, we don't strive for perfection here. We just, you know, we try our best. I just kind of want it to be somewhat even. And like right here, I like that. But again, this is frosted. So I have a feeling this would probably come right off if I really, I don't want to work at it right now. But if I decide some, like if I want to stand them this way, I could probably take this off and then put it up here if I wanted to. Okay, so we've got two done. Very excited. Two done in 23 minutes, and I'm still yakking my pretty little head off. Look at that. Okay, this one is my everyday, well, not my everyday, but this is the rest. We'll just say this is the rest of them. Um, oh, I have some kits over here. Oh, these have to go back into my, I really love this work in progress. So I might switch this out and put this one in here like this because it's just so stinking cute. Hold on, can you guys see that? I love that. Okay, now, I don't think I need this one yet. Keyword, yet. Okay, I have this one here that I'm gonna use for my everyday stickers. This actually needs to get moved, so I'm gonna clean this one out, I think, real quick. 
This one, these I'm gonna actually keep in here because these are really great. I've been finding just as like either little decorative pieces to my spread or I've been using them as kind of like bullets. So, all right, I don't need the book ones in here. I'm gonna do, these aren't gonna be like my everyday ones. Planner ones, yes, that's an everyday, that's a keeper. And I'm just kind of moving these around right now. And what I'll probably do is reorganize these a little bit better off camera. I do like these. I'm gonna keep those in there. I do need this. I actually have to write down, I took my Amnivig early this month. This month was a rough month for my Amnivig. Last six weeks have been pretty, not my Amnivig, for my, um, my migraines have been pretty bad in the last six weeks. So I did call my neurologist and we talked about me upping my dosage for my Amnivig. So I did take it a little early this month. And so far today I feel like a human. So that's good. That is good. These are also Hubman and Chuck Girl stickers in case you were wondering. It's also another favorite of mine. All right, me time. We're gonna take that one out. And then I have Mochi Chaco, um, which I really like these. And I've been using these workout ones for um, the kids karate. So I'm gonna keep these in here. And let's see, what else do I have? Okay, I've got <laughs> high anxiety. Gee, no, that's not me. I would like to say I'm, I'm not gonna use these every day. So we're gonna put those in the not every day. And this one is a biking one. Oh, and my water tracker. I've been trying to use this one, but I've been a little unsuccessful at tracking things. Um, again, I've had some migraines, so I'm not, I'm not gonna worry too much about that. But we're gonna stick those in there with the workout ones. And what else we got in here? Over it, not today. That doesn't have to be in here. This one is a working one. We're gonna keep this one in here. Just to have some variety in my working. And let's see, what's this one? Oh, coffee. We can never have enough coffee emojis, sorry. So we're gonna add this one in here. We'll actually put this one with my working ones. And we'll put this one on the other side. So I'll have kind of like a coffee section. So we've got Hubman and Chub Girl, Mochi Cha. You know what, I'm gonna put this one behind it. That works, okay. And then this is a folder that I got from Hubman and Chub Girl. So I'm gonna keep this out for now. All right, so these will go back in general pop. And like, you know what? I can swap this out whenever I need to. I have a friend messaging me, let's see. That's not important, I hope. Okay, all right, let's see. So the ones that I use all the time, this is a good little cheat. So I have like a functional section or not a functional, an adulting section. So I use my trash emoji icons all the time. So I want those out. And I'm a well in here, I should say. We'll put those in there. I have my laundry because I am forever doing laundry. I have two kids and a husband. Always have to do it. All right, let's get these in there. A little bit better. There we go. I'm like, sometimes I can be OCD about things. Okay. And then I have my grocery ones. You guys can hear that little tapping. It's super windy outside, so we're definitely already feeling the winds um, today, and I think it's supposed to get worse. We're more inland, even though I am like kind of on the coast. I'm like, I don't, I'm on the bay. Um, so it's supposed to get, I think they said 35 or 25 to 30 mile an hour winds. So it's not gonna be too, too bad, but it's quite breezy out there today, I will say. All right, so we've got some haircuts. Actually, you know what? Do I use haircut a lot? Mm, I don't. So we're gonna pop that back in there. And we're gonna get these bill paying ones because that's important. I use those weekly. I don't declutter. I mean, I do, I have been. Um, this is actually my second sheet, but I don't think I'm going to put those in here. I do need my budgeting. Modis. Oh, I need to more, order more of these apparently. I have a big order I have to put in soon. There's so many orders that I have to put in. I have to do my Hobonichi order still. Um, what else do I have to do? I need to do an Amazon order for some storage solutions that I found for my, um, what do you call it? I can't think of it. For my bathroom closet, I guess. It's not, it's not in my bathroom, but um, 
it's like a hall closet that I use for like excess things for medicine, toothpaste, and all that stuff. So I found some nice drawers on Amazon. I think I might give them a shot because right now we have things stacked and like we hate moving everything to get some medicine out. So I have to put that order in and I definitely need to get in a Coffee Monster Co. order. All right, so these are my doodles. So I'm gonna add this in with my doodle section. And I think I want to move this actually. So we're gonna put this back here. And got some coffee, I have coffee. All right, let's do this. What's on this side? It's my bill pay. Let's do. one and then this one from Hubman and Chub Girl and we'll add in Mochicha and then we'll go into this binder and we'll oh I want to add in my nail ones I have like different sections in here right now for like self-care and all that stuff but I tend to use certain ones weekly or monthly and anyway, we're gonna stick these right in here And I need to pull out these. It's for my, let's see. I want to add a coffee one in here. So let's go to that. I'm a little squirrel today. So iced coffee, do I want? Mm. So I drink iced coffee even in the winter. I think I want to do these iced coffee ones. Let me see. I have, I have a lot of coffee stickers, guys. Let's see. Coffee's my thing. In case you're new, we drink a lot of coffee here on the channel. And yes, I still sleep okay. <laughs> All right, I think this is the one that I'm gonna go with. I do have the coffee. We'll, we'll add this one in here too. Why not, right? That's what my son says, why not? So what we'll do is, I'm gonna add this one in there and this one since it has more on it and then we're gonna pop these back in here. Okay, and then we'll just use these for now. I'll put this in this one. And then I have a, definitely a variety of coffee stickers, so that's fun. And do I have any? All right, so I use these a lot. So we're gonna put these in here. These are like what I use for working also when I am marking off time that I'm spending on anything playing life with Erin. And let's see, I definitely use the YouTube we're gonna just put this one in here. There's only two left in here. Also, I'm finding like this way it'll help me see what I have left because I tend to stack my stickers, my sticker sheets. So we're looking pretty good here. We'll put this one in here and we'll keep the full one in my main binder. Let's see, I'm trying to think what else I would love to see in here that I use all the time. I pulled out all my functional ones. Well, I left some in there. There are still some that I haven't pulled out. I think that actually might be it for this binder. Let's see. Self-care bucket list. Nope, I don't need that one in here. Um, let's see. I think that's gonna be it for this little binder. We'll add these back in too. Headache emojis, let's put those in there. I tend to have, hopefully now that I'm on <laughs> a higher dose, um, we won't be using any more of these, but I definitely need to order more for sure. Just, it helps me track them and then it's like just a nice little cute way of staying organized, but we'll put my Maxalt, uh, not my Maxalt, my Imnivig injector thing there. And I think this book is good to go. So, now that we're sitting here doing this, <laughs> the next plan with me, you guys, I'm still gonna be like, oh no, where are my stickers? <laughs> Hopefully we remember. So I have my go-to everyday stickers. <clears throat> my wreath is gonna blow away. I don't know if I actually finished that story, um, but that's the clicking you guys hear. It's my wreath blowing around. Okay, that looks awesome. I'm liking that a lot. Okay, now we still have all of, oops. I just, 
You just dropped my sticker book on the floor. Okay, so now we still have all this book that I'm going to shift into this one. Now, um, I do have these tabs in here, these dividers. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to load it in and I'm going to keep what I have, like the keep the way I have it. And then I'm going to go in and I'll put what I pulled from the other one. I will put it um, in here and I'll fill it in. I don't know if I really like I put functional, so I don't know. Maybe we'll have to think of something else. I have no idea what to use. So this is mostly <clears throat> just the fun stickers, you know, like the the uh, extra emojis. So if you have an idea of what I should title this album, put it down in the description box for me, or not in the description box, down in the comments below and give me a, some inspiration so I can um, name this sticker album. And stay tuned because I will let you know on my next plan with me. So I think this is where I am Friday, today's Friday. Um, so I believe, let's see, how do I wanna do this? I think this is okay and we'll do it this way. So today is Friday, September, what is today? Today is September 15th. So when I do my plan with me on Monday, yeah, Monday, wow, um, I will let you know what I decided with. So make sure you let me know down in the comments. This will probably go up tonight, possibly tomorrow night, which will be Saturday the 15th, but um, for sure within the next day or so. So make sure you hit up the comments so I know and get some inspiration. Ugh, okay. Also, I'm going to, let's see, if you guys are interested, if you're interested in subscribing to the channel and you're liking what you see so far, um, basically on this channel, we, um, we are all things Hobonichi. I love the Hobonichi cousin. Um, that one's my first love um and definitely have my planner piece um i also work in the hobonichi cousin i mean the hobonichi weeks and i have a hobonichi a6 i like to do some asmr journaling um and just overall planning and we're just having a good time over here i do vlogs um and then definitely some stationary haul. It's my favorite. Um, I love to be able to share what I find with you guys. And I'm a bargain shopper. We are a family of four. <clears throat> we are living off of my husband's. Um, we're win one, one income family. Um, I do make a little bit extra on the side, but it's nothing really crazy. Um, it's just it's just enough to help support the channel. Um, so if you ever click on any of my affiliate links, thank you very much. Um, I do make a small commission off those links, um, but it just goes back to supporting this channel and um, it doesn't cost you anything. So I do appreciate it. I appreciate the support. I love this community we're building. Um, but yeah, so I know where I was going with that. Um, oh, the hauls. So I love finding hauls um, and I'm a bargain shopper. I like to find a good deal. I like to be able to have the things, you know, and um, not have to pay an arm and a leg for it. So when I find a good deal on Amazon or Timu, anything like that, I love to share it with you guys. So it kind of takes out the trial and error part of things um, and the guesswork. And I can give you my honest opinion. And again, I'm always trying to find the best deals. Like these two binders um, for a set of two, I believe were seven change or something like that. It was very, very affordable. And these um, sleeves are very generous. Like I think I've only bought like two packages of the um, four pocket and of the, um, the five by seven. They do have like a quad, but I haven't picked up that one. Um, and I believe they're only $7.99. They're all the same price. I don't remember for sure. So it might be a little bit less or more, but I don't think so. I think that's about right. Okay, so let's add in my last two sections. Ooh, this is getting a little chunky, guys. What I might do is, so right now, I don't know if you've noticed, so I haven't, I've kind of talked through the whole process, but I do have other sticker shops in here. I have Create With Pen. I have um, some other ones, I can't remember the name. Let me see, where are they? Plans are cute. Um, so I did add these in here um, because they were in the original binder, but I probably will go back and separate it since I do have a fourth 
binder that I can add stuff into. Oh, this is so cute. All right, let's grab this because this is going to be my cover. If I can open this without causing an issue. Let's see. I also find, and it could just be me. I am terrible with three ring binders. Um, I actually attempted to plan in a three ring binder. Um, I forget when. I think it was this year, in the beginning of this year when I was kind of still just trying to figure out life and how my brain worked and I was exploring different planners. I started off as a happy planner, um, but I don't work well with three ring binders. I find them hard to open and kind of annoying, um, but this one and the other one I had, this one's a little bit better, not by much, but it's easy to open and close. Um, so that's something I thought I would, it's worth noting. And let's see, I just overstuffed it. So that's why we're bulging out all over the place. Ooh, okay. Let's see. Oh my gosh. I love that. How cute is that? Can you guys see that? I don't know, it might be a little bright. Let me see if I can turn down my little bit so you guys can see it a little bit better. Look how cute that is. Okay. I don't know if I need to turn this light back up again. I really can't. I can't tell right now from looking at my phone. So if it's a little too bright and washed out, I do apologize. Um, it's kind of, the weather is kind of weird here. I've been trying to do my plan with me's open up all the, the shades. I have like really good natural light in my house. But today it's been like kind of sunny for a little while and then hazy. So I'm working with what I got. All right. I have two more sleeves and then I have this one. So I think. I think what I want to do just checking I think I have a back and front on that one so I'm gonna add a back to this one and we're gonna have to let's see let's do this maybe there's a trick to the six ring binder that I just don't know about probably not so I'm gonna remove this for right now and then I'm gonna add this one in the back for sure, because I think I'm going to take the other empty sleeves and I'm going to add them to a not so stuffed binder. Put these in. Put that on there. These are also seasonal. I'm wondering if I should put these in my seasonal one. Most of these are seasonal and coffee. All right, let's see. Let's put this in here. Okay. So I made a decision when this the year started that I was going to use um, primarily Coffee Monster Co. in my cousin. And I don't I have any regrets, but I have an overflow of other stickers because I only use them in my weeks. Okay. I have stickers in here too. I have an order too. You guys want to see a quick little order? All right. We'll do what's, I'm not going to label this one. So we have to think of a good name for this. This is a mixture of things. This is stuff like self-care, sick days, um, reading, planning. There are still some functional stickers in here. Adulting emojis for other things that I do every day. Anniversaries, big doodles. And then I'm not sure if I'm going to be keeping these other shops in here. I might add them to another binder. So keep that in mind. Um, because I do have more stickers that I'm going to be creating another binder with from um, one of my subscribers, Christine. She sent me a big box of um, stickers and stationery and things that she wasn't using. Thank you so much again. I know I said it in one video, but um, so I have a lot of other like sticker shops and varieties that I can add to that fourth binder. So these might come out. So keep that in mind when you're helping me name what this binder is. But we have my Hobonichi kits. We have some seasonal. what I do with the other one? And then I have this one that will fit right in the front. And this is my everyday go-to stickers. So, and obviously this is not the same size, but this is, like I said, it's portable. I can just toss it in my, um, my crafting bag and off I go. Okay. So let's open this and I'm going to be very gentle about this. If you guys also, Ooh, hoo, 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 I'm really excited right now. I'm going to have to add that in. Okay. If you guys shopped the birthday sale, then you receive this bag with your goodies. Also, thank you, Fiona, for packing my order. 
um, save your bag. And I think um, a few videos down, it's crafting fun. And I am going to show you how to turn this into a dashboard um, or a divider or a pencil board, whatever, we can laminate it. So save this if you're wondering or trying to figure out what you can use this for, go check out that video. I hope it helps. Let me know down in the comments if it does and if you use it. Okay, so this is, this is the Da Vinci. So I'm obsessed with Van Gogh. Absolutely love Van Gogh. I did not get the Starry Night um, washi because I have trouble with lots of color sometimes. So even though I adore Van Gogh, not that I don't like Da Vinci, um, but I liked this because it was neutral. So I find, I, I feel like I will use this more and I'm really trying not to just buy things to buy things. I really am trying to be intentional about purchases and just thinking more in terms of like, do I have a place for it? Um, if I use this, well, how often will I use it? That kind of thing. Oh, I missed the spot. Let's try that again. Maybe I can do it. Here we go. That is so stinking cute. I love that. And I like how it's neutral and I probably will use this quite often, especially like, I feel like this is like book journaling too. Okay. Um, I can't say this artist's name. Hope. Ho Hakasaka, Hokusaka. I can't say it. I'm terrible. I don't know. Um, but I love this sticky note. I thought it was so pretty. Beautiful artwork. And it's not a sticky note. Sorry. It's just a little notepad. But I absolutely love it. And I have like a little... It's not a sticky note, is it? No, it's not. It's just a notepad. I love this. I write notes everywhere because um, I'm a mom. And um, I'm a mom that probably has ADHD on top of being a mom. So it's fun. It's been real. Um, but I leave post-it notes everywhere and sticky notes and just notes in general. So I like having all the note paper that I can have. Oh, this is the freebie for August. So cute. Love that. And oh, I got more of the seals. I love these. I have not used it yet. I think I'm going to use it in my, um, my A6, maybe my junk journaling. I'm not sure, but I just adore these colors. So I just had to have them. Um, I'm not sure, like, maybe I'll stick them on something, like, maybe on the outside of a journal if I have, like, a leather or a faux leather. We'll see. Definitely cute. Love them. Um, and what else did I get? Oh, and here's my Da Vinci. I mean, not my Da Vinci. My um, Van Gogh. So this one, um, the apartment, I think it's called, and then the sunflower one, and um, Starry Night. I absolutely love them. I did a whole report. I took um, art literature, or art history, rather, in college, and... I absolutely love Van Gogh and I, I did, I also was taking psychology. So I did like this whole paper um, on the psychology of Van Gogh and all that good stuff. And I enjoyed it. That was, that was a long time ago though. That was like 20 years ago. So, but yeah, I would, I actually wanted to go see the Van Gogh exhibit. It was like a traveling exhibit. I think it came to Providence. Um, and I made hints to pretty much anybody I talked to in my family that I would have really enjoyed that for my birthday. And it didn't happen, but that's okay. I still love them. Um, <laughs> one day I will, I actually did go to the Boston Art Museum years ago. I was probably in my mid twenties, early twenties. And I took the tea from Providence and I went to the Boston Museum of Arts and I loved it. I got to see some Van Gogh, so it was really cool. Um, so maybe, maybe in the future, me and Joe will take a ride and we'll go, or we'll take the tea because that was a lot of fun. Okay, guys, did you make it this far? Let me know down in the comments how far you made it. Did you make it this far? <laughs> if you did and you're interested in subscribing to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now and don't forget to hit the bell notification so you're notified anytime we come out with something new on the channel, which we've been coming out with all sorts of new stuff. So you might want to hit that bell notification notification so you always get updates okay so as always guys thank you so much for taking time out of your day to come and spend it with me i know we're all busy so thank you very much it's much appreciated and until i see you again have a beautiful week and keep planning bye